Hello and welcome to Tower Factory. If we were to anthropomorphize Factorio and Rogue Tower, this is the baby they would have if they got some sweet loving on. So it's Tower Factory, essentially. You build a factory and you've got some tower defense going on. This is in demo at the moment. I think it's been released November 2024, if my memory serves me correctly. It's only one level to play. There is a tutorial which I've done, but I will go through it as we play. So this is our tower. We don't have much time. We need to start doing things. First, we need to get some wood. So we're holding down and chopping this tree. I'm not sure if individual clicks make it go quicker. Probably does actually. I need an auto clicker. So to automate this, we need about 20 wood plus whatever we use for the paths to get it in. So this is a wood chopper. I'm going to place it down there. It's got the three little uh, dotted lines coming off it. That means it's connected to those three trees. And then we're going to get this in here as quickly as possible. And then we're going to go back to chopping more trees because we need a bucket load of resources and the enemies are already on their way. They will be here soon. So we've got enough to build another tree chopper over here and get the pathways going. So if we rotate that here, that's going to get the most amount of trees about there. And then we need to get this pathway going in as well. And there you go. We have wood being automatically collected. We still need a bucket load more. And then we need to move on to stone as well. I think that's probably enough wood to get the stone part going. So we're mining the stone manually here as well. But there is a stone miner to put down. So chop chop. Let's get the stone going. And then if we hit Q, go to the stone miner, get that rotated, we can put that to go in here. Now the pathways, unfortunately the conveyor belts don't mix, we need a combiner. We need to get that going the right way, so where there are red arrows we can have any input going in there. And yeah, that'll bring the resources into the centre and now our stone and wood are going up. We do, of course, need more. We always need more. We need to collect this stone, these trees, more trees, and we need to build some... Oh, crap. All right, they've already started coming, so I'm going to plonk a tower down here. I should probably plonk another tower down, but let's focus on getting the resources coming in. If we don't have the resources coming in rather choppy, then, yeah, we'll be in trouble. So, let's get this road going in as well. And we're going to need a combiner here again. So, at the moment, we only have a couple of towers. We can unlock more. I'll get to the upgrades tree later. Um, but to build the big tower, the big hitter, we need sawmills. So, we need to be doing that too. In fact, let's do that before we get the stone. So tree chopper, and I'm going to place that directly into a sawmill, which we can't afford at the moment. We need two more stone, six more wood. Sorry, 16 more wood. Thankfully, we have the wood coming in quite fast. Well, <laughs> I say quite fast. It's not that fast. And there you go. So that tree chopper is putting the logs into the sawmill, and then the sawmill is making sword planks. And we need 20 of those amongst other resources to build the siege, whatever it is, the bigger turret. And we will get back there, but first we need a couple more of these smaller turrets, otherwise we're going to die rather sharpish. Alright, let's go back here. It was ballista, wasn't it? Yeah, so 20 wood and 40 stone. So we're going to need that other stone as well. So let's get this stone going too. Haven't got enough resources. Of course we haven't. We need more wood. Alright, let's get you going down here and we can join with the sawmill. Here, yeah, that's where we can join with the sawmill. And we need a combiner. Bang, done. Why they can't just go onto the same conveyor belts, I don't know. I'm supposed to make it a little more tricky. Right, 
We probably want another sawmill as well. In fact, we probably want about three because we want to be pumping out these siege catapults as quickly as possible. And again, we're waiting on wood. It's coming up to summer when I'm recording this and already I have a cold. In fact, I constantly have colds. It's what having children does for you. They go to school, they spread their germs and then they come and cough them all over you. Right, it's turned to night. Things turn nasty now. Um, they get faster or more aggressive or there's more of them. I don't know what, but anyway, it's not a good time to be me or my tower even. They are working their way over. We need more towers, quite simply. We can't afford the siege one yet, so we we'll stick another one of those down and we want to get another one of those if possible. So the premise of the game is there's an evil wizard sending over these little toadstools and we need to work our way to the evil wizard's lair and yeah destroy it quite simply right we're gonna stick one more of these down and we can do this ballista tower now huzzah so the way we clear the fog this is where it's like rogue tower i suppose a little bit we put down bonfires and that will get rid of the fog of war and we'll be able to see a bit more but at the moment we're missing out on stone so let's manually mine some of that whilst we wait i think it said 24. we probably want to get another sawmill going as well right okay we can build the bonfire so i'm going to stick a bonfire as close to the edge as possible and there you go it's revealed some more of map so this is a goodie or something that helps you. Towers placed on these squares, they do extra damage. So it's actually worth putting a tower or two down there. Can't actually afford two towers. So we're going to do a bit more mining and then get the next one down. We do also want to start taking this stone and we want another sawmill as well. So we can build the stronger towers faster. Right, there we go. Can we build another bonfire? We can once we have the wood. I don't think I built enough tree choppers or lumberjacks at the start, but oh well, we get that. Right, come on, we want that bonfire. The bonfire reveals the tiles and then that will increase the range of our towers. So this is the next unit. It's not a mushroom, it's a crab. You kind of need the ballistas to take off its shield or its health. Without that, your normal towers just don't do the damage. Can we put one of these down? Nope, we need 40 stone. Okay, let's get another stone miner as quickly as possible. And there we go. We could even stick like two or three stone miners on the same patch. I don't know why I don't do that. All right, let's get this connected in some spaghetti-like fashion. There we go. We've got that stone coming in. We've got that stone. Co Ooh, we've got this. If I hit this up, it's going to give us some stone and some wood. That should allow us to get our second ballista down. And we're going to place that just here. And hopefully, fingers crossed, touch wood. We do okay for the moment. Right, I wanted another sawmill, didn't I? Where am I going to put this sawmill? I don't know. Um, there's a tree over here that's not being used. Let's do that. So, tree chopper. And then we're going to put you into a sawmill. So it has to go in at the red. And then we're going to path over here as quickly as possible. And we need to put in a converter, a splitter, router, whatever it is. Yeah, time's not your friend on this game. We have got enough for another ballista though. So let's stick that there. And there you go, concentration of fire there. Not sure how good that's going to be. And we want to get another one of these down. So to defeat the wizard tower, you need to find a special rune. And this rune will give you uh, a special crystal, which will defeat the wizard's tower. But it's hidden somewhere on the map. No idea where it's going to be, though. So, yeah, it's... Mm, it's a race against time to find it because the enemies continue to get stronger and they continue to attack. So as much as I'm going to be building up my towers as quickly as possible, we've got quite good income coming in now. What am I missing? Four stone. Come on. One stone. And I probably need to start chopping some of that manually. Or 
I could automate it, which is what you should do with factory builders, and put one there. And then if we rotate this into here, and then we're going to need one of these. There we go. We've doubled up our stone production over there. We could probably do the same here too. In fact, I'm going to do that, and we can get this going directly into the... Oh, shit. What was it called? It was called the combiner. There you go. Good. Have to watch out though, because resources do run out. I think trees are like 250, stone's about 800. We are going to run out of things. Right, let's keep expanding. We can build a few of these now. Let's keep going up the path. So at the end of the path, you're going to find the wizard's tower. But we do need to find a crystal somewhere to defeat him, which could be anywhere on the map at the moment. Alright, let's try and get one of these on the strength spot. Right, it's going a bit dark. In the top right, the time is going down. I assume when that gets to zero, that means they start going a bit crazy. Come on, three more, two more, one more stone. Bang, there we go. And that's got a strength buff going on as well. If we were to stick down one of these, would that do much? No, it wouldn't. It would tickle the corners, really. Okay, fair enough. All right, can we get another one of these down? We can. Let's try and put that over here. Okay, it's not really helped too much. Can we stick another one of these down? We are limited on the number of towers we can build. I mean, otherwise I'll just be building the basic towers, like loads of them. But we get to a point where it says no more towers. Is only a demo, but I can't click on the towers. I can't delete them or remove them. So yeah, that's not really been factored in as yet. So you need to choose which towers you build and where. All right, let's build one over here. Okay, they're coming from this direction. Are we looking on everything? The wood's still getting chopped. Good. Yep, still getting wood. We could actually get a chopper over here, but... Yeah. Okay, we're fine. We're doing okay. We're surviving. Possibly not thriving, but we are surviving. Alright, can we get another bonfire down? So, as you can see in the bottom right, bottom right it tells you what you need so we need lumber stone and little swirly things the little swirly things you get when you kill enemies there you go there's the wizard's tower now i just need to find the now i just need to find the crystal to kill him which could be located fucking anywhere so we're gonna need a lot more bonfires to do that and to get the bonfires we need to kill these dudes and I can probably build another siege tower whilst we wait here let's put one there that covers most of this pathway and can we even get another one fuck they're going crazy on these ballista towers here all right bonfire 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 yes we can do one where's it gonna be it's like fucking battleships going on here right let's have a look behind us no there'll be a little kind of masonry square that we can see somewhere that's stone i think mm. all right let's see if we can stick another one of these down no we need eight more yeah they're getting more numerous now the enemy's coming through we're doing okay though with our ballista towers there's actually a flying unit coming as well as the crabs flying units a bit speedier than the rest kind of just zips its way through yeah we're gonna be in shit soon if we don't find out where this special crystal is right can probably build another ballista tower by now yes we can right let's place one there yep yeah, they're starting to come through it's not a huge amount i can do about this yeah, that crab's not had his armour taken off like the little yellow bar. So they're going to walk into our tower and then on the top our tower's got a little life bar and when that life bar goes to zero, it's game over. This is annoying. If I knew where the crystal was, I could actually defeat the wizard. This is probably the closest I've been to since uh, playing this game. 
Right, I am going to go somewhere. Where am I going to go? I'm going to go over here. Come on, Crystal. Come on, Crystal. It's not fucking there, is it? Ah. And it is game over. Almost. Pretty much. Yep, game over. Not the end of the episode, though, because there's more. There's more mechanics. So we've earned two gold coins. Remember that for two seconds. Uh, maybe later on the reviews. So with the gold coins, we can go to upgrades. So we have various upgrades. We can increase the number of towers we put down. I don't think we reached a limit there, but we could have. Um, the light essence, which we need to build the bonfires. We can increase the amount we receive there. Do that twice. We can unlock the beacon. Okay, I assume the beacon's like a big fucking bonfire. And makes you able to see further. That's probably a good thing to have. A light tower health. No idea what that does. And this is a good thing I haven't got, which I'm going to do now. Start the game with 50 wood and 25 stone. And then if we pay 4 gold, we can start the game with 100 wood and 50 stone. That is amazing. Right, and then we have our basic towers. We can increase the damage by 2. No idea what the damage is to start off with. And then for 5 gold coins, we can increase the base damage by 4 so that means our towers there are a lot stronger. And we can unlock the catapult. There you go. So we can do more. I think I'm probably going to put that in the new episode. Because there's a lot to unlock. I may just do some playing. Unlock a load of things. And then come back and make this a two-parter. Anyway. If you like the game. I'm going to put the link to the demo in Steam. And you can wishlist it for when it comes out in the end of 2024. Thank you very much for watching, please like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll be back again soon. Bye bye.